Once you've made your video, you'll need to put it on the web somewhere for the students to view. Now, we recommend putting them on YouTube rather than on any other sort of server. The reason is that YouTube will automatically handle things like giving them in different formats for people, Mac and PC users. It'll make them visible on mobile devices. It'll automatically downgrade the resolution for those who don't have a high bandwidth connection. You can do all that yourself, but it's a lot of hassle and YouTube will do it for you. So the first thing you need is a YouTube account, which is the same as a Gmail account. We set up a generic one, ANU first year physics at gmail.com, so that uh, all the different people involved in the first year physics courses can upload things without uh, reading my private email. Once you've got that, just click on go to YouTube, click on upload, and just drag the file produced by Camtasia in, and it will upload. While it's uploading, you can give it a name. I'd recommend being very systematic about this. A flipped course can well end up generating 50 or 100 video clips, and so you really should give them a name like uh, Video 1.1 How to Make a Movie on a PC. You can define whether you want it to be public, unlisted, or private. Um, I normally do public, but unlisted will mean it can't be found by Google search engines, but if you give the link to your students, they can still see it. Private, you have to invite someone to see it. And then you can type in description and so on, and then when it's done, you type publish. Once it's finished processing, it will give you the web address, and this is what you will cut and paste into either edX Edge or to Moodle Wattle to give students access to your video. Once your videos are processed, it's most easy to access them by going to Create a Studio here. And you'll see all the different videos you've produced. You can watch the analytics. If you go to Video Manager, you can see the sheer number of videos typically involved in doing a course. And you can go and edit, rename, delete, change, and find the links to any of these things.